In this exercise, we're going to create a one-point perspective of a bedroom wall. It'll include a, a, a bed with, with a mattress, two nightstands, some lamps, just really simple, um, but we're gonna work with a grid. So this moves on from our last exercise where you actually built your own 10 foot by 10 foot grid of a room. So in this case, we have, um, let's just first look at the one point perspective. So this is, this is a grid. Uh, you can find these online, they're computer generated, and so they're very accurate. So we can draw on top of these. Before you do this lesson, before you watch this video, please look at the lecture that's online because in PowerPoint, I laid it out step by step for you what to do. So please watch that and watch my video where I talk about each step before watching this tutorial, okay? Because this tutorial, it's gonna be very hard for me to communicate it and I actually think that the online PowerPoint lecture is, is a little bit better. So the first thing you wanna look at is the room. Each small square is going to represent, so this goes back to like when we started doing 2D design, each square represents one foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You have a 10 foot ceiling. The larger squares represent two feet. So this is something that you've, you've worked with before. And so now maybe you can apply this to perspective. So the bigger scared squares, two, four, six, eight, 10. So we know that you have a 10 foot height ceiling. So 10 foot ceiling height. Now let's look at the size of the room. I'm gonna go ahead and just count the big squares because it's a little easier. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So a 10 foot by 20 foot room. So the first thing I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you essentially pull that back wall forward eight feet. So I'm gonna have you count either on the floor or on the ceiling, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. And so it'll be the true on the floor. And so again, what I'm having you do is I'm gonna have you pull that wall forward so that the bed is a little closer to you in view. So I'm not gonna completely draw it because you can see that we're gonna be building furniture in here, but I will go up the side of the wall following the grid. Horizontal lines are horizontal. So I could just follow along the grid at the top. Down the sides. And it's also going to go on the floor. I'm not gonna go all the way because we're gonna put some furniture. So this is why it's a little hard to see. Um, I, I tried to put a piece of tracing paper over this and just this was printed too, um, too faint for me, for my eyes. So I'm just drawing right on top of the grid. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to draw um, an eight foot by eight foot base of the bed. So from the from the wall that you just pulled forward, you're gonna go two, it's hard for me to see, two, four, six, eight. Okay, you're gonna draw the base 
of the mattress. And, and I have you do this, the base of the bed or the base of the platform. I have you do this because, you know, as designers, we typically do start space planning first, right? So you've done some space planning, 2D. So this is where my bed is going to sit. I made really big two foot by 42 inches, so two feet, right? Plus 12 inches is 36, plus another half is 42. So you have to kind of know, again, 12 inches in a foot, 24 inches and two feet, 36 inches and three feet, 42 inches, which is what I'm gonna have you make your, your nightstand, is three feet, six inches, or three and a half feet. And so what that leaves is that leaves a nice little space between, if you look on the floor, That's going to leave just this nice little space. You won't see it because the mattress is going to cover it, but it leaves this square on each side. On so that spacing before the nightstand doesn't hit the actual side of the bed. So now I'm going to, you know, just quickly because. I do go over this step by step on the, the live stream. But from the corners of my mattress, I'm gonna draw a vertical line. And I wanna have a box and a mattress. So I have to determine what this height is going to be. So if I want a, a, a 12 inch or 13 inch box, I'll, I'm gonna show you how I did that. This is the base of my bed. Maybe it'll have a foot or something. Okay, so I want this to be 12 to 13 inches high. That's typically what a base will be. So I'm gonna follow along the base of my bed on that yellow square that I created. I'm gonna to go to the side wall and I'm gonna go up one square. That's 12 inches. So I can go up just a little more for 13 or 15. And then I'm gonna draw straight across. draw straight across. This is where it gets a little gnarly. I could have done the same thing going this way. I could have gone over to the side wall up 12 and a little more, and over. So it looks like I didn't draw a very nice straight line. Great, so now I have the front of my bed here. And now I want to go up for a total of two feet high. So, if you're doing this equally, you might wanna just do 12 and 12, and then, so go along the foot of the bed again. Go up 12, that's how I got my base, and now I want a 12 inch mattress, and so I'm gonna go over again. And that's right there.
draw a horizontal line across. And now, so this is the footboard. So basically you saw you're looking at the base and the mattress. So now obviously this is the vanishing point. We're gonna be looking down at the top of the mattress. So that's gonna to go to the vanishing point and that's going to go to the vanishing point. So what you're looking at slightly in blue right now is I took the back corners so what I highlighted in yellow, I took the back corners and I drew a vertical line up and I'm gonna start thinking about where my headboard is going to be. Back corner of, of where it's sitting on the floor against the new wall and I'm drawing a vertical line up. So now I want to decide what the height of my headboard's going to be. So to determine that, instead of going against the front of the bed. I'm going to go along the back of the bed to my back wall. So right, it's sitting right on the wall and I'm going to go two, four, and if I want my headboard to be five feet tall, that should be right on the horizon line. It's going to come across right on the horizon line. So now from, this is the front of the footboard to my vanishing point. It's gonna hit the headboard here. From the front top corner of my mattress, the front of the bed, to the vanishing point, it's gonna hit the headboard right here. And if all things are correct, Horizontal lines are horizontal, and we have a nice mattress now at the top of back of our bed. So here's what you should be seeing. You should be seeing a five foot or 60 inch high mattress, a base, and now a headboard that's on the wall that we just brought forward. So I've had, I, I, I have you draw beds in, in this class because, you know, they're just basically squares. So squares or rectangles stacked on top of each other. So that's drawing the bed and you're going to follow the same steps to draw the two nightstands. So we have our four corners of our nightstand that you've pulled up vertical lines. Right, from each corner, from each corner, you've pulled up vertical lines. I'm gonna go from the base of the nightstand over and I'm gonna make it two feet high and look, it is the same height. It's looking like it is gonna be the same height as the mattress. So go over, up two feet and then across, okay? And yes, everything's looking really good, right? Where that corner meets, I'm gonna go back to perspective to enclose it. The side of the nightstand is going to be covered by the mattress. In a one point perspective, horizontal lines are horizontal. Vertical lines are vertical. 
and everything else goes to the vanishing point. So for now, I'm just gonna make the front of my nightstand solid. Uh, in the lecture, you can see that I, I cubed it out and made an opening, but just so that you can see the front of the nightstand and then the side of the nightstand. So this followed the same thing, um, but before I draw in that second nightstand, which is, and I just eyeballed these in. this back here to represent some art on the wall. Looks like I took it corner to corner. Art back there, centered on my bed. So here is those wonderful ellipses. Oh my goodness. So the first thing you're gonna do is draw a cube. So my cube goes one, two plus one over, so three feet, and then it's gonna go two plus one back. So I made a cube. So I, I did a three by three here. And then I, I drew my cube up and then I, I just placed my, my round ottoman, which you've practiced before, inside the cube. There's my ottoman. And then back here, we're gonna have a nightstand. Two feet tall. There's the front of the nightstand. That's where it hits the floor. There's my side of my nightstand. You can, you can trace lamps, but you just want to make, you want to put, put an X on the tops of the cube or put an X on the front of the cube uh, to find center. To make sure those look like they're sitting in the right location. And then we're gonna go over and add some bedding. You can add an area rug. Right, you can add two, four, six, how about an eight foot tall door? So draw a vertical line up. Go from the vanishing point or follow the grid over. And now you have the makings of a slider here. Or a window, you can put window panes on it or drapery treatments. I would draw just a quick suggestion of the horizon line out here and then maybe just some little trees or something out your window. Maybe on this side, I came in two, four. Maybe on this side, there's just gonna be an, ent an entry that goes into maybe the bathroom. So the 
material can continue in there. If you want to, you could put an X through the center of your bed and make a vertical line up to see where, for example, a chandelier would hit. Let's see if it's an eight foot bed. That's two, four, six, eight. That's the front of the bed. So maybe right here, there's a chandelier. And then you can add a, a light. So instead I went, I went to the wall. I knew my bed is two, four, six, eight. And so I went at four. And that's where if I wanted to center my, my bed. And I have all these cool, loose pillows here, having fun. So what I would do next is, so this is you, you laying out your drawing. The next thing I would do is put a piece of tracing paper over this and draw it um, a little better. But for your assignment, you need to place two nightstands, your bed, uh, lamps if you want lamps, or pendants if you want pendants, and maybe place in a slider, maybe a hallway. And if, if you feel brave, uh, try to put in an ottoman. It's a little puff you know, those little poofs, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You can get that in, and an area rug. And then turn that in, and that'll be your first project. Your first, I should say, one-point perspective project.